Well, it's interesting to look at how we got back together. I mean, for a start, I think it's the elephant in the room that no one wanted to acknowledge. It was there like, come on, come on. But what happened was in 2006, there were a few little sort of seed events. One was that all three of us turned up at the Sundance Film Festival in January 2006. Stuart had his film out. I went up to support Stuart and that. So I was at Sundance, Stuart was there. Sting's wife, Trudy Styler, had produced a film and was at Sting happened to be there. So we all knew that we were there. And it's, Sundance is a very small place, packed with people. So this particular night, the word got out to Sting wherever he was. And Stuart and I were sitting in this sort of bar restaurant place and these big sort of banquet couches and Sting came in. And we all sat together and Sting put his arms around Stuart and I. And of course we had an incredible like media rush to this moment. And they took a great picture of us together. And I think this was really the seed moment. And that picture went right around the world in about 30 minutes flat and they're back. I mean, the sort of press basically announced the tour, you know, as it were in January, it was phenomenal. But there was nothing, you know, but obviously that was a very potent, potent moment. And um, from there we went on and then Sting came, as my memory of the event was that Sting came back to Los Angeles, where both Stuart and I live a couple of times. And both times we had dinner and we talked and it was very cool. We're kind of getting on well, you know, and it was, you know, it's, of, course, of course, despite what people think, there's a phenomenal bond between us. You know, we, none of us are going to do this with anyone else at this level. So uh, we were moving and, you know, Stuart's film was out, as I remember. Then later in that year, my book came out in September or early October 2006. And I went to New York to, you know, do a book tour, start talking in the stores. And I was at Barnes & Noble downtown and Sting had his Loot album out and he was in Barnes & Noble uptown, you know. So <laughs> we got on the phone and we were laughing and talking to each other. And at the same time, also, we had collectively, now this was a weird bit of business, but we had decided to fire Miles Copeland as our manager the so-called historical manager, because there were no rights, there was no reason for him to be the manager of anything. And there are more, there's more to it than that, but we'd all signed off together. So see, there's a group thing, and I often emphasize this to people. You see, with the police, they all think, oh, you guys just hate each other. There's actually a very strong bond. And when the chips are down, we face inwards towards each other, and we create a huddle, and we make a decision together. We've always done that. In the end, we stick together, so. Anyway, so we were laughing about that in October. So things are sort of heating up. And then I think it was in December, I went to London. And again, of course, Sting and I hung out for a couple of days. And I think that was it. He, he you know, he, his mind was going there. And he called his manager the next day and said, all right, we're going to do it. Make the call. And somewhere after that, I got the call. <laughs> I'd just like to introduce the band. Andy, this is Stuart. Hey, that's hey. I remember you. So okay, we're gonna come. We're gonna come clean. We're, we're actually um, we're gonna go on tour. Well, it was an interesting moment to come back. <laughs> interesting, it's a euphemism. Interesting <laughs> moment to come back to the reunion of the police uh, because you know we were generally reckoned to be one of the great bands and had gotten off right at the pinnacle of our success when most bands, you know, we could name several bands here that just go on forever and sort of dribble away finally. Uh, obviously we could have gone on forever, but we didn't, we got off right at the peak and it had been 20 years. Uh, coming back and putting it all back together, you know, was a moment that was, you know, very emotional, political, fraught with probably a certain amount of, you know, definitely tension and vulnerability where we are gonna be able to pull this off.